Today I'm gonna to teach you three variations of the bench press that allow you to safely bench press, avoid injuries, and stop having achy shoulders every time you bench. Let's get into the video. Before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, you know what you have to do. Make sure you like the video, hit subscribe so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. And of course, leave a comment below if this video helps you or if you have any questions whatsoever. The first thing we wanna discuss today is the neutral bar bench press. So this requires you to actually get a specialty bar. There's plenty of places that you can get this. We prefer to get ours from Giant Lifting, which we will link in the description of this video. The neutral bar allows us to avoid a pronated grip. So if you look at how you bench press with a barbell, a straight bar, the typical bar we all use, we are in a pronated grip. That is where our palm is facing down. The easiest way to remember the different grips is that pronated is down, supinated is up. And you can't hold the bowl of soup if you have a pronated grip. That's how we learned it in college. So supinated means palms up, you can hold the bowl of soup. But on a barbell, we have a pronated grip. When I pronate my grip and rotate my hand downward, I am also internally rotating my shoulder, my scapula. What this does is it makes it harder for most people to depress or retract the scapula itself. And when we don't depress or retract the scapula, we have a hard time packing our shoulder blades and keeping our posterior chain, which is gonna be our lats or traps, activated during a bench press. Many times the reason people get injuries to their shoulders in the first place, making it harder and harder to bench press in the future is because they have weak traps and lats and bad posture. So one way to avoid using a pronated grip and exacerbating the issue itself if it is already present is to avoid using a pronated grip barbell. And what we do is use a neutral grip. So when I grab a neutral grip, I'm shifting from a pronated grip to a neutral grip, which is vertical up and down. And when you do this, you can actually feel if you put your hand on your lat and kind of palpate it by just poking it, you can feel your lat activate because your shoulder is retracting. It's depressing down. It's moving downward, your scapula. And when we do that, our lat lat actually fires. We're gonna have much more stability in our shoulder blade while bench pressing if our lat is active the entire time. So again, what we wanna use is a neutral bar bench. And when we do this, we are going from a pronated grip to a neutral grip. And this is gonna allow us to better activate our posterior chain, mainly the lats, and that is gonna put us in a safer and better position to bench press while still getting all the benefits of a regular bar bench press. The second tip is to stop using a bar altogether. The truth about any bar, whether you have a specialty bar or a straight bar, they are a fixed position, which means the bar is straight across. No matter what, you have to grip the bar where the grip is. But with a dumbbell, you have a free motion grip in a sense. And what this means is that I can naturally place my shoulder and my wrist, my grip together where I want them. And so when you look at yourself bench pressing with dumbbells, you can get kind of comfortable on the bench. So maybe a pronated grip's more comfortable. Maybe a neutral grip's more comfortable. Maybe more of a 45 degree angle is more comfortable, which is where most people end up at in the dumbbell bench press. And when we do this, we can get comfortable on the bench, find a good grip for us individually because everybody's biomechanics are different and we can bench press in a comfortable position and we can even rotate through it. Many people like to shift into more of a neutral grip or a 45 degree angle grip at the bottom of the bench press and it kind of acts like you're rowing into the bench or rowing the dumbbells into your chest and then they rotate as they press at the top. For most people, the chest will activate easier if we prone it at the top but your shoulder blades will retract better if you're neutral at the bottom. So the easy way to do this is to rotate as you go up. The problem with a regular bar is it's fixed. You have to be in a pronated or a neutral grip the entire time. You can't rotate your grip as you go. So one way to easily remove the fixed object issue and help your shoulder feel better during a bench press is to just use dumbbell. A lot of people worry that using dumbbells instead of a barbell will limit their results, but that's not true either, depending on what you're after. If you are a power lifter or you are somebody who is competing in the bench press itself, then of course, the dumbbells aren't gonna cut it because part of being a better barbell bench presser means you're practicing the barbell bench press. It's a skill and there's a neurological component. But when we are thinking about getting better at the press, strengthening our press, which is shoulder abduction and just literally horizontal pushing, or we are trying to build muscle in the chest, there is absolutely nothing wrong with dumbbells as long as you can accumulate enough volume and you can stimulate the muscle actively, which may mean progressive the load or just being able to fire it properly. I know from my personal experience and anecdote, I can actually feel my pecs work harder during a dumbbell bench press
press than a barbell bench press. Partially because I'm able to put myself in a better position to fire my pecs harder. So again, the second tip is pretty simple. Cut the barbell out for a while, use dumbbells, and find a natural grip path that works best for your specific mechanics. The third and final tip is to change the stability you are putting yourself on. And really that's just a fancy way of saying, remove the bench or change the angle of the bench. I was trying to find a way to combine the two together. And what we're looking at here is using a slight incline bench press or a floor press. And we can do this with a barbell or a dumbbell. When we move to a slight incline, it is very, very small adjustment. We are just barely popping it up. But what this does for most people is it allows you to change where your clavicle is and actually depress the shoulders a little bit easier. Very simple similar to what I was referring to with the neutral bar bench press. And as you can see, when we do this, we can actually hyperextend our thoracic spine, which is the mid back, where we get a lot of rotation and extension from safely. We're not extending in the lumbar, which might not always be good for people, but in the mid back, we can actually extend and kind of puff up our chest. What this automatically does is pull our shoulder blades back and we can more easily row the bar into our chest and kind of row into the bench. When we do that, we more easily fire the posterior chain. Once again, because the posterior chain is the stabilizer for the shoulder blade. So if we want healthy shoulders, we need to train our traps, our rhomboids, our rear delts, and our lats a lot. And one way to get better at bench pressing is to learn how to activate the posterior chain during bench pressing. Well, a slight incline can put your shoulders and your upper body in a much more favorable position that's going to be safer and most likely avoid aches and pains. This is a tremendously easy fix for a lot of people that I've worked with over the years. But the main reason we do this is just to put yourself in a better position and more easily fire your lats and get your shoulder blades to pack down a little bit more. But another way that we can adjust the angle or the bench we are using is to just take it to the floor. When we go to the floor, we can bring our feet up, position our back flat against the floor and actually just limit our range of motion. One of the reasons why people have a lot of pain during bench pressing is because the full range of motion puts them in a protracted position. Once they get to the bottom, their shoulder blades go through what's called an anterior glide. And what this means is I'm dipping forward, but my elbow is going past my midline. Whereas somebody who can properly retract is going to pull back. They'll still have the same range of motion in bar path, but they are keeping their chest up, their shoulders back versus their shoulders forward. So instead of shoulder protraction, we have shoulder retraction. And when we have that issue, it is a shoulder mobility issue that can be addressed separately. But one way to limit that temporarily is to just go to the floor. Because once we our elbows touch the floor, we can't go any further. And usually that isn't going to allow that protraction of the scapula. Now that we've gone over the top three tips to safely bench, avoid injuries, and stop having shoulder aches and pains while you bench press, I do wanna throw in a, a little bonus tip. And that is to either progress through band accommodation or get some specialty bars. They make some really cool pieces of equipment now where you can get bamboo bars, you can get neutral bars, you can get all kinds of different specialty barbells that have literally been designed for people with bad shoulders to allow them to squat and bench press safely. So go look up some specialty bars. We'll link some in the description so you can check them out yourself. And then don't be afraid to progress with bands versus weight. When we keep stacking on plates, we are putting more shear force on the joints and we are more likely to get injured. So if you have bad shoulders, try something like accommodating resistance. Add bands, add chains, add volume through reps, change up what you're doing by using these tips, but do something to just limit the shear force on your shoulders for an extended period of time to safely recover and then return to the bench press when you are ready to do so. All right, guys, that is a wrap. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please do me a huge favor, like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you can get notified every time we drop a new one. Comment below if you have any questions whatsoever or if I can help you in any way possible. I hope that you can bench for the rest of your life and continue pressing without any shoulder pain. We'll catch you next time.